Hi there, this is just an update video for how um, I like to perform serratus anterior plane blocks as a slight update to what I've recorded in the past. I've got a particular model lying supine and I'm using a high frequency linear probe. And the first thing I'm going to do is just literally place uh, the probe on the anterolateral aspect of the chest. And the reason we perform a serratus anterior plane block is to get the lateral cutaneous branches um, of the intercostal nerve can be used for rib fractures, but also for anterolateral uh, chest wall analgesia. So I'm going to place the probe literally over the side of the chest here. Uh, and the first thing I want you to appreciate when I do that is you can see uh, a very obvious shadow. It's a bright white line with a dropout artifact below that. That's rib. And there's a thin sliver of muscle on top of it. And at this point, it's likely to be one of the slivers of serratus anterior. And I'm going to keep sliding the probe posteriorly. As I, slide the, 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 as I slide the probe posteriorly, hopefully you'll start to appreciate I'm, a, I'm, I'm now coming across multiple ribs. I'm just going to increase the gain a little bit to make it a bit more obvious. And my marker is lying over on serratus anterior. I'm going to go further posterior. There's another rib. As I slide up and down, I want you to notice something else is sneaking into view. The structure that's sneaking into view over here is latissimus dorsi. Now, as I go up and down, you see that as I'm coming anteriorly, you can just see serratus anterior. And as we come even more anterior, that's one of the, the anterior slivers of serratus anterior just disappearing. As I go further back, it's the one muscle that hugs those ribs really nicely. As I go further back towards the bed and slide up and down, you then start to see this muscle come into view. This is latissimus dorsi. So to perform a superficial serratus anterior plane block, you're aiming to bring a needle from anterior to posterior, and you want to fill your local anesthetic in that plane above the serratus anterior muscle, separating latissimus dorsi from serratus anterior. Here's rib, here's pleura. So a lot of people have advocated doing this block um, because it's far away from the pleura, uh, and they believe it's safer. But I am going to give you a different spin. I think it's actually much easier to make contact with the rib and to hydrodissect the serratus anterior muscle up off that rib. So if I'm going to perform a serratus anterior plane block, I come in from the anterior aspect, but again, you could rotate the probe through a few different orientations. So this is me scanning with this probe in this orientation, scanning up and down. You can see serratus hugging the ribs, or you could be in this slightly anterior posterior orientation. The reason I like this is I can bring my needle in like this. You can see me making contact over here. And you can lift serratus anterior up off those ribs and come all the way. And actually, if you use a long needle, you can get really decent hydrodissection. So I like to perform a deep serratus anterior plane block using the rib as a backstop. And just to show you the connectivity with the front of the chest, uh, if I slide up onto the front of the chest, uh, we've got here, this is pec major. As I'm sliding laterally, you're going to see pec major end. And then this muscle below it is pec minor. And as pec minor ends, right over here, we're going to start to run into serratus. You can see how it's continuous. Come back again, up over on the top part of the chest. Let me get a bit of gel here. We've got pec major up here. So adipose at the top, pec major, pec minor. I'm going to keep scanning laterally. As I scan laterally, pec major is ending. Here's pec minor ending right over here. And I'm straight over onto serratus. So superficial pec, um, serratus anterior block, plane block is up here. This is continuous with the pectoserratus plane. That's a superficial serratus anterior plane block. If I go deep to that, deep to the muscle between the serratus anterior and the ribs, that's a deep serratus anterior plane. Now you can see it's actually quite easy to find that plane uh, and it's relatively constant. So I like to perform deep serratus anterior plane blocks. You can see as I'm sliding up and down, that marker is nicely staying in that space the deep anterior, serratus anterior plane. Many thanks.